Head over the footy previews the upcoming round. We're just going to crack into the round one preview now, Charlie. Round one, how good? Normal footy, hey? Is it? It's it not is normal. normal footy. Isn't it still only five teams? It's always been normal since the season started, but the only difference is now is we got one, two, three, Nine games. Okay. Oh, okay. I was Starting off with Carlton and Richmond okay. at the MCG. <laughs> I was uh, misinformed there. Sorry, apologies if I misinformed you, but no. Carlton, <laughs> Richmond at the G. This should be a pretty one sided game, you'd imagine. Carlton could to get it done easy. Yeah, what's that you know, we haven't we'll go in as the heaviest favourites we have in this game in a long yep. long time. Should definitely win. Collingwood Sydney what do you think about this game? I think this is going to be an absolute cracker. Pressure's on Collingwood a little bit. I've seen some ridiculous articles written about them and Lee Matthews saying... Now, this is, Lee Matthews is a legend. I'll say that off the top. But he went into this stuff about Collingwood and their premiership and how that docu- doco came out and how they shouldn't be talking about the premiership. They should be focusing on this season. I'm just going to go in and defend Collingwood because oh, really? all that stuff all that stuff that was in that doco had nothing to do with their pre-season. It was all recorded during the final series and it got released a month ago. Yeah. So that's maybe they could have released it closer to the day of the grand final, but it's hard to get a yeah. um, big documentary together in a short time frame. So I'll yeah. just go in there to defend Collingwood. Yeah, it's not very But there is, a, there is a little bit of pressure on them. If they lose two in a row after winning the flag, that's that's if any team that wins a flag and, and loses two in a row, pressure. I'm leaning towards Tipping Sydney. Yeah, well, that's a big call because it's at the MCG, Collingwood's home. Um, but the Swans were brilliant against Melbourne. So that's going to be a cracking game on Friday night. It's not the only cracking game that we're going to see in round one, I believe. Um, Essendon, Hawthorne, pretty good game to watch. Essendon should get the job done there against Hawthorne, who are a bit injury riddled. GWS, North Melbourne, uh, GWS should get the job done there. North Melbourne, obviously with Clarko, he got that $20,000 suspension for the comment he made. Uh, we know about that. And uh, there's pressure on North and him to... Just make sure they front up nicely. Geelong St Kilda Saturday night. This is going to be a good game, isn't it, Charlie? Geelong, a team that missed the finals last year after winning the flag. St Kilda, they're a side that made the finals last year, got knocked out straight away. Geelong will be hoping to bounce back in. St Kilda will be hoping to remain in the top eight. Great game. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gold Coast Adelaide. This is going to be another good game. Gold Coast... They've never made finals in their, I think, 13-year history. Might be wrong there, but I'm around the mark. They've never made finals, Gold Coast. Adelaide, they're looking to make finals this year after missing out last year by the scruff of the neck. Um, That should be a good game. Which one do you reckon will be better out of Gold Coast, Adelaide or Geelong, St Kilda? They're two cracking games happening at the same time on Saturday night. For me, Geelong versus St Kilda is... Versus St Kilda is the uh, game of the round. There's the Vic bias. <laughs> Th- there it is. Um, Sunday. Exhibit A. <laughs> Sunday. Uh, Melbourne taking on the Bulldogs. This is a game where I reckon you can't really take your eye off it. You got Demons. Yeah. Tell me what's in common with these two teams. Can I just go off on a little tangent here? It better be good. It's somewhat interesting. Um, one of the most underrated marks of, the, of recent years was uh, Cody Waitman's uh, against Melbourne. It was in the middle of COVID. Do you even remember it? Of course you don't. It was amazing. And um, I reckon I was the only s- spectator that isn't an AFL employee who witnessed it because me and my friend were just walking through Melbourne at the time, sort of, you know, in the sort of desolate empty city it was sort of cool and there was a footy on so we walked to the mcg and then we sort of like walked to where you could just see a little gap through the uh stands and to a, just a little narrow slice of grass yeah you could only just see that bit and that was exactly where the mark happened as we were watching so i reckon i was one of the only people to see that mark live and it's one of the best marks that's pretty cool of recent years you can cut this out of the final podcast if you like but 
Well, I'll tell you what, tension and a half, but but yeah, nice. I like that story. Thanks. Um, and I do remember that, Mark, this isn't going to look good on the vigils because I'm actually laughing right now. I don't remember the Mark. But if <laughs> I, I was a running back with the flight. No. Anyway, <laughs> Melbourne Bulldogs. The thing that's in common with these two teams is beverage under the pump this off-season. And the other thing that's under the pump is Melbourne Football Club. Culture, Oliver out of the team, Joel Smith, their president, ex-president, um, all sorts of things happening with both clubs this off-season. Now they're going to be facing off. Melbourne lost last week to Sydney. Mm. Melbourne looked good against Carlton in their practice game. The Doggies have also been playing well. They did well against, I think it was Hawthorne in their practice game. Yeah. This is going to be a good game to watch. Great game to watch. It's yeah. at the MCG. Port Adelaide, West Coast. Port Adelaide to get the job done there, you'd think. Um, and then Fremantle, Brisbane at Optus Stadium. Mm. Um, tips for the round. Uh, we will get into them, but... Um, who are you tipping out of... Fremantle could be a point of difference there. No way. You really? Any chippers out there who want a point of difference, I'd consider Fremantle. Optus Stadium, Brisbane yeah. coming off a loss. They Fremantle, could get it done. Who knows? Maybe they're, you know, they're, they're going to be back to how they were. So Potentially. Potentially. You know, we'll wait and see. Depends how you want to tip. Some people decide that they like to like do multiple sort of upsets because that's yeah. how the sort of the cream and the crop distinguish themselves. Others just sort of purely go for the conservative option. Well, it's uh, round one of footy and Charlie Gill, because uh, it's your first show today, we're going to have a little celebration here. Uh, Pop some of these bad boys. Wonderful. And uh, we'll enjoy ourselves, won't we? So in three, two, one, uh, before we do it, um, let's just wrap up the show. It's been a great one. Um, we discussed some... Good stuff in there. So um, thanks for tuning in. And well done on your debut performance, Charlie. Very polished. Oh, thank, you know, thanks, Max. You were a very uh, gracious host. And um, I'd love to be back. And hopefully next time I won't, you know, <laughs> be uh, <laughs> quite so shaky. Mate, you've done a great job today. So well done. And with, um, that, with that in mind. <laughs> well, we, there we go. That was scary. Oh no, man, that's a wrap.